So when I work with my web designer, we're always trying to come up with different ways to create rounded corners on a rectangle in Illustrator. And I've got a couple. One I actually just learned about a couple months ago, uh, and I'll tell you about, and I'll give the resource. But here's, a, here's one method that you may or may not like, and I implore you to show me methods too. I'd love to learn how to do this stuff faster, but I've got a rectangle. If I copy it and then paste in front, I've got two, one on top of the other. Take the rectangle you have, go up to Effect, and you can see I've been kind of trying it here. Convert to shape rounded rectangle. Now when you do this, you're going to do it and you're going to say, okay, I don't want any extra, but I do want to round the corners. You put the corner radius. There we go. Click OK. Got two rectangles. Now, since that's an effect, what we can do is go up to Object, Expand Appearance to make it editable. So we can edit the true shape. There we go. Now you can see the points. Select both. I tend to keep this. You can keep it in a uh, symbol library, etc. You can then come over here to the Shape Builder tool and just kind of do this. You can say, hey, I want all these corners like that. I want these like upper left. I want lower right. I want all of these. You can also use the shift key. If I hold down the shift key, I can kind of surround things and say, hey, let's make it look like that. Or let's make it look like that. That way you've got the different shapes and you can kind of work with these a little bit. So you're going to see there's mixed objects, but there we go. It's, it's simple, I know. And some of you are like, well, pff, no way. Now, another, another method that I learned, and this is actually from uh, Morty Golding, uh, the, the king of Illustrator, if you will. He created this really cool method, or he, he showed this really cool method on creativepro.com, and it's using a, uh, an appearance. So if I take a look at my appearance panel, and this one could be a little bit better if you want to use, let's say, a graphic style. It's kind of cool. We can come out here and have a fill. And let's say I'm going to make this fill a different color. I'll say red. And I'm going to actually make another fill. So we can have multiple fills in an object, right? And I'll make this new fill, and I'll make the top one a different color. Now you can see that the fill, one fills on top of the other. Let me turn off the stroke for right now. What we can do is we can come to, let's say, the bottom fill here, and it could be either or, it doesn't really matter. We're eventually going to make these fills the same color. We're going to select one fill, go to Effects or up in the Effect menu, and you're going to do kind of the same thing. We're going to go to Convert to Shape, Rounded Rectangle, I don't want to add any extra width or height, and I just want to add the rounded corner I want. I'll click OK. Now you'll see that there it is. So if I turn that fill off. So one fill on top. Now if we come to this fill, this is the genius part, you guys. I'll come to Add New Effect with that new fill selected, and we'll go to Distort and Transform, Transform. And what we'll do is we'll just make it smaller. Now you got to be careful here. You want to make it identical or you want to make it match so that if there's curvature that it's kind of covering up what you need. I'm going to select preview and you're going to see, oh, okay, well, it went and made it 50% in scale size, but now we're going to reposition it here. We're going to say instead of from the center, maybe I want to go from the upper right. Check that out. So it's starting from the upper right and scaling it 50% that way. Upper, lower right, upper left. That kind of thing, okay? You can also do things like this. I can say horizontal, you know, 100, and you can create that kind of button. I click OK. I now have two fills. I can just simply make them the same color, really. And there's your button. Pretty cool. You can then come over here and save that as a graphic styles or a series of graphic styles. And when I go to create another rectangle, for instance, let's say I click on this bad boy, come over to the graphic style and click on it, you'll see what it does. It fills with two fills and works pretty well. <laughs> Thanks, Morty. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. So there's a couple ways to create rounded corners if you're doing things. You gotta be careful with scaling, obviously. That's one of the hard things with this. You know, using this kind of button where you actually expand the appearance and you go to scale this thing or stretch it or something like that, this is always an issue with the rounded corners, right? Um, if we do something like this, you're gonna see that it's always using the, uh, the appearance, which is kind of cool. So there we go.